Now let us show the fourth part which was that closed sets are Lebesgue measurable and to prove this result. So, this fourth part is uh, requires some more careful attention than the other parts and uh, so we will need two results to prove this fourth part. So, first is a theorem which says that every open subset of R D is a countable union countable union of almost disjoint boxes. In fact, almost disjoint closed cubes. So, I will not prove this theorem and I will just uh, refer you to see the proof, see the proof in Terence Tao's book. book and this is it is a given in lemma 1.2.11. So, the proof is quite detailed there and uh, not very hard to follow. So, I will leave the proof for you to learn and understand. Of course, if you have any questions you can ask on the portal and we will be happy to answer. So, this is the first result that we will need that every open subset of R D can be written as an all union of countable union of almost disjoint boxes. The second theorem that we need or rather this is a lemma is that this is a topological fact that if E and F are disjoint subsets disjoint subsets of R D such that uh, both are closed and at least one is compact, then the distance between E and F is greater than 0 which is to say that E and F are separated. So, I will again leave this as an exercise, this is an exercise in topology. which uses the um, which uses the concept of compactness. And so, uh, we will use these two results to prove that closed sets are measurable. So, let us see how this is done. So, first uh, sub we can suppose we can suppose without loss of generality, without loss of generality that uh, if E is a closed set, it is bounded also, it is also bounded because if not then E can be written as the union n equal to 1 to infinity E intersections with let us say the ball with center 0 and radius n. So, now this is a closed and bounded set closed and bounded set and so if we prove that closed and bounded sets are Lebesgue measurable then E will be a countable union of closed and uh, bounded sets which are each of them are Lebesgue measurable. So, therefore, this will imply that. So, if we prove if we prove that 
closed and bounded sets are Lebesgue measurable, then this will imply that any closed set is in fact Lebesgue measurable. because we can write it as a countable union of closed and bounded sets. So, we can suppose without loss of generality that E is a closed set uh, which is also bounded. <coughs> so, now we can use the now say given epsilon greater than 0 and using the fact that m star e is finite because now it is closed and bounded also. So, the Lebesgue outer measure is going to be finite. Uh, choose an open set, open set u containing e such that we have m star u is less than or equal to m star e plus epsilon. So, we have to show that m star of u minus e is less than or equal to epsilon. So, note that u minus e is an open set, is an open set. So, this implies that u minus e can be written as a countable union of almost disjoint boxes. So, b i is is a countable union union of almost disjoint closed boxes or cubes. This is from the theorem that we stated above. And so, <coughs> we get that m star u minus e is the sum of all these almost disjoint closed boxes 1 to infinity. <coughs> now, if we can prove, we can show that this sum i equal to 1 to n m b i is less than or equal to epsilon for any n greater than or equal to 1, then we are done, then we are done because <coughs> what we have then is that m star u minus e is equal to the limit of uh, n tends to infinity i equal to 1 to n m of b i and since each of them is less than or equal to epsilon the limit is also less than or equal to epsilon. <coughs> so, we have to show that any finite sum i equal to 1 to capital N m b i is less than or equal to epsilon. Now, take for this uh, purpose, we can take E union of these n closed boxes. So, here E is closed and bounded and these are also closed and bounded. So, this implies and by uh, and also that this is a disjoint union, disjoint union. So, this implies that m star of the union of these two things is equal to m star e plus m star union i equal to 1 to n b i because of finite additivity additivity for the separated sets sets e and 
f which is the finite union of b i's and here we are using the lemma stated above stated above <coughs> so m star e union this finite union of b i's is equal to m star e plus m star of this uh, union of b i's from i from 1 to n but m star of e union union 1 to n b i's this is less than or equal to m star of u because uh, this set is a subset since e union b i is a subset of e of this set u because this is a subset of u and this is a subset of u minus e. So, the union is a still a subset of u. So, by monotonicity we get this inequality and on the left hand side we have m star e plus sum of m b i's i from 1 to n and on the right side we get m star u but remember that u was chosen so that it was less than or equal to m star e plus epsilon. So, this implies that i equal to 1 to n m b i is less than or equal to epsilon says uh, since m star of e is finite. So, we can cancel out this, this m star e and this m star e. And so, we got what we needed which is that this is this sum i equal to 1 to n m b i is less than or equal to epsilon for any n. So, this proves the result proves the result. So, we have proved that closed sets are also Lebesgue measurable. Now, let us come to the complement, I think this was part 5. So, let E be Lebesgue measurable and we have to show that that E complement is Lebesgue measurable. So, we proceed as follows for each natural number n greater than or equal to 1 choose an open set open set u n containing E this is a Lebesgue measurable set. So, we can choose u n such that m star of u n minus E is less than or equal to 1 by n. So, here we are taking epsilon to be 1 by n and for each n we are choosing an uh, open set u n such that this inequality is satisfied. And now, put f n equals u n complement. So, we would like to take, so this is a, this is a closed set f n is closed for each n greater than or equal to 1. And now, we put f equals the union of all these f n's uh, from n equal to 1 to infinity. So, we will show, we will show that m star of E complement minus f equals 0, which would imply, which would imply that E complement which is the union of f and E complement minus f and now if uh, this measure is outer measure of 
E complement minus F is 0, then this is Lebesgue measurable. And F being a, a countable union of closed sets, this is Lebesgue measurable. So, the union is E complement is Lebesgue measurable. So, we have to show that M star of E complement minus F is equal to 0. So, how do we show this? So, note that M star of E complement minus F is equal to M star E complement minus the union n equal to 1 to infinity. This is the by definition of F here. And so, this is M star E complement intersection with the intersection of the complements of f n. So, each f n complement is u n by definition. So, this is less than or equal to m star u n intersection e complement for all n greater than or equal to 1 because this is contained in u n for each n. And we have chosen this such that this is 1 over n is less than or equal to 1 over n. So, this is true for all n. Therefore, this goes to 0 as n tends to infinity. So, therefore, this m star of E complement minus f is 0 and we are done. So, if E is Lebesgue measurable, then E complement is also Lebesgue measurable. Finally, we come to the last part which is the seventh part which says that if if e n 1 to infinity is a collection of Lebesgue measurable sets Lebesgue measurable sets then the intersection n equal to 1 to infinity e n is Lebesgue measurable. So, this is quite easy. So, one can write intersection of these E n's as the union n equal to 1 to infinity E n complement complement. So, this is by De Morgan's laws. This is by De Morgan's law. So, since each E n is Lebesgue measurable, this E n complement is Lebesgue measurable. So, the countable union of Lebesgue measurable sets of E n complement are Lebesgue measurable and finally, you take the complement which is again Lebesgue measurable. So, this is just a one line proof that countable intersections are also Lebesgue measurable.